mentioned um, a couple minutes ago that for those who joined us late, the uh, October 20th game, uh, UConn at USF, that's going to be a 7 p.m. Eastern start on CBS Sports Network. And we're joined by Coach Charlie Strong of USF. USF is 5-0 and overall, 1-0 and in the American Athletic Conference. The Bulls played at Massachusetts last Saturday. USF won the game 58-42. USF is back in action this Friday with a primetime game at Tulsa, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 Central on ESPN. And then again, as we mentioned at the top of the call, Jordan Cronkite from USF uh, is the Americans' Offensive Player of the Week. Uh, Coach, thanks for joining us on the call today. If you take a minute to tie up the game against UMass, please, maybe some words about uh, Jordan Cronkite's performance uh, running the ball and then what you expect to see uh, as you uh, get back at it in a short week uh, Friday at Tulsa, please. Well, it's a good win for us and uh, a lot of uh, individual efforts, you know, one of them being uh, Jordan re- rushing for uh, 300 yards and offensive line did a great job of blocking for him. And the thing about it is we got to be more consistent. We still have to play better. Uh, looking forward to a conference game, a second conference game, and knowing that Tulsa, you know, their record doesn't speak of just for how good they are. That's a really good football team, and they've lost some really close games, and we know we're going to get their best when we um, travel out there on Friday night. But we have an ESPN audience, and it's great for the conference, but we're going to have to play better. We're going to have to play better than we played the last three games. We'll take questions for Coach Charlie Strong, please. The star one on your telephone keypad will put you in the queue, then the operator will introduce you. We'll take our next question from Nathan Bond with Daily Stampede. Hey, Coach, how are you? Good, Nathan. How are you doing? Doing well. Uh, true freshman Donovan Jennings gets the start at left tackle. What was the decision process in uh, 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 replacing Eric Mays? Well, Nate and Mays have uh, been nursing an injury, and and uh, so Donovan had a lot of work during the open week. But he's been practicing, you know, all year long because what we have, he's been running uh, with our second unit. And then uh, Mays had an injury, so we uh, he ended up uh, getting the start. And played really good for us. Did a really good job. And your your run blocking, uh, as evidence of the 300 yards by Jordan Cronkite, was phenomenal. Uh, especially on those big explosive runs, were, the holes were open. Uh, pass protection-wise, it seemed that the pocket broke down uh, more frequently. What what needs to happen to fix those uh, errors? Well, you have to be balanced. So if you're running the ball well, then, and that, that helps out with the passing game, and we we do that. So you know we weren't running the ball good early. So when we start breaking uh, with the long runs, we didn't have to throw the football. I don't think we end up having to throw a lot. And so uh, we just got to be more balanced, and then that would help with the uh, with their drawing game and also with the running game. Uh, defensively, you give up 42 points, last two touchdowns kind of in uh, garbage time. What what did you see from the defense this week? I know that they they went up against a very good wide receiver and uh, Andy Isabella. What what did you guys work on to uh, curtail that? I guess. But we can't give up the late touchdowns that we gave up and uh, give up 42 points. And at one time, I think they were at 14, and then we ended up giving them, what, 28 up in the uh, second half. But we got to play much better than that on defense, and we're better than what we showed. So we're going to get a really good test this week at, this week at Tulsa. All right. Oh, that's it for me right now, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you. Coach, can I ask you to give maybe a little more of uh, what you see out of Tulsa? And it seems from from these eyes that um, defensively they're miles ahead of where they were a year a year ago. Maybe a little bit trying to find their way offensively. Maybe unlike um, previous Tulsa teams. But um, what would be your assessment of uh, the Golden Hurricane coming in this week? Well, I don't know if they're trying to find their ways offensively. You know, they had an injury at the quarterback, but then they uh, have a quarter. You know, they have a quarterback that came in. You know, with Boomer, and he he did a really good job of just managing the offense. Uh, the wide receiver, uh, Hobbs, is an outstanding player. They have three uh, offensive linemen that are just really good because you look at the, the center with Chandler and then the uh, left guard with Tyler. And even with the uh, right tackle, Willie Wright, I mean, there's the three outstanding football players. You know, they got a really experienced. I think they have like seven or eight starters back on offense. 
kind of banged up some at running back, but it, whomever they put there, they've done a really good job. They can run the football. They do a really good job of running and uh, and throwing the ball, really good balance there. Uh, defensively, when you, when you look at them, you know, uh, I, I look at their middle linebacker, and he, he's a really good football player with, with Cooper. And I, and they, um, I think he has like four interceptions, always around the ball, always making plays. And a nose guard's outstanding player with Stevenson. So it's a it's a team that's very um, very multiple on defense, does a lot of things. They can get off, you know, they can pressure you, they can play coverage. But uh, this, is, this is a really good team. And like I said, their, their record doesn't indicate how good they are. Thanks, Coach. We can go back to the next question, please. And a follow-up from Nathan Bond with Daily Stampede. Uh, Coach, uh, do you have an uh, injury update on Duran Bell and Elijah Mack? Uh, no, I just uh, at the press conference I just uh, talked about those two guys. Uh, they're still day by day, and when they're ready to go, um, you know they'll be in. All right, I appreciate it. Yes, Coach. Last thing I'll ask you about: just you're sitting on the uh, in the East American East Division now, one of three undefeated teams. Um, you know, the only uh, division or, or conference for that matter uh, with three unbeaten teams, and then also sitting there with Tull- with Temple uh, at two and zero. Uh, in conference play, um, as you just finished your last non-conference game, uh, what's the approach your team takes going into what could be a you know a pretty good meat grinder on the east side? Well, you still game by game, and so our concern right now is Tulsa, and we know we're going to have to play every team on the east side. So we just got to make sure we handle this week, and then uh, those teams that we they're going to be there for us to play. It, but we just got to make sure that we maintain our focus. Thanks so much for your time today, Coach. We look forward to talking to you again on Monday.